Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video we are going to create a low poly character in Blender. If you are brand new in Blender, you have to check out this video after watching this one. So let's go into it. Alright, mouse left click and drag, select the camera and the light, X and delete them. One notepad to go to the front view. GZ to move this cube along the Z axis a bit just like that. I'm going to change the height for this cube along the Z axis about 1.7 meter. And this is going to be the height for our character as well. Make sure to place the cube on the floor just like so. Now we need the reference image to start. You can download the reference image for this project for free. Link in the description below. When you have it, select the image and grab it into Blender just like so. Or go with Shift A, Image, Reference. You can also go with Add, Image, Reference. It's belong to you guys. Select the image as to scale it a bit, just like so. You can turn on the extra emote from here, or you can use the shortcuts Alt Z to switch into the X ray mode. We are in the front view, guys. Make sure to place the image right in the middle, just like so. Now select the cube, X and delete it, we don't need it anymore. So, click on the image icon from here, turn on opacity and bring the opacity down. Select the move gizmo and push the image back from the center along the Y axis just like so. Select the image, Shift D to duplicate, mouse right click. Hit RZ90 to rotate the image around the Z axis 90 degrees and hit enter. 3 numpad to go to the side view and now we need to push along the Y axis only. It's very important guys, just along the Y axis. Also we need to push the image back from the center along the X axis. Go to the outliner and add a new folder. Double click to rename this folder, I'm gonna write reference. Hold shift select this one and this one and drag and drop into the new folder. Click here and activate this icon. Alright, now we need to turn off this icon from the outliner for this folder. In this way I can't move the images accidentally. Alright, I'm gonna rename this folder as well. And now we are ready to go. One numpad to go to the front view, mouse left click and drag on the corner here to close this one. One more time, mouse left click and drag on the corner to split the area into two pieces. It's better for beginners to split the work area into two pieces just like so. One area is for the front view and another area is for the side view. In this way we don't need to switch between the side view and the front view all the time. Alright, let's start with the torso. Go with Shift A, Mesh, Cylinder. Click on this box and bring the vertices down into 12. S to scale, GZ to move along the Z axis. Hit SZ to scale along the Z axis only. One more time, scale the cylinder a bit just like so. Tap to switch into edit mode. Now we need to add loop cuts around this cylinder. To do that, hit Ctrl R and scroll the mouse wheel up and down to get more or less loops. In this case, we need five loop cuts along the cylinder. Also, we can change the number from this box. Again, Alt Z to X-ray mode. Select these vertices. Now, if we scale with the command S guys, see what's happened. As you see guys, we don't need to scale these vertices from all sides. We just need to scale the vertices from the front and to control the vertices from the side. That's why we need to use the command SX to scale from the front view along the X axis only. I think it's easy and not that complicated. Just keep it in mind. All right, guys, from the side view, we need to scale along the Y axis only. To do that, select these vertices and hit S Y to scale along the Y axis. So I need to repeat that one last time. From the front view, you need to scale along the X axis only. From the side view, 
you need to scale along the Y axis only. Select these vertices and rotate them a bit just like so. Select these vertices and rotate them as well. I forgot to say something. Please guys, take your time and don't rush. I talk to many beginners. They think they are able to create a character in 5 minutes or so. For me, that doesn't make any sense. So please take your time. Select the vertices on the top just like so. E to extrude them. As X to scale from the front view. As Y to scale from the side view. E one more time and create the neck in the same way. Ctrl R to add a loop cut right there and follow the lines for the reference image. Ok, select this loop, bring it down a bit just like so. Ctrl R to add a new loop cut right there. Select this one and move it up a bit just like so. Also you can hit G twice to edge slide, it's a very helpful shortcut. Hit the number 3 on the keyboard to switch into the face select. Hold shift, select these faces. It's time to create the shoulders. E to extrude, S to scale it a bit, G to move and R to rotate just like so. Now we're gonna add a mirror modifier. In the vertex select, select these vertices, X and delete them. Go to modifiers, add modifier, mirror modifier. If you face an issue with the mirror modifier, make sure to select the object, Ctrl A, all transforms to reset the location rotation scale into default and everything will be fine. Also we need to activate clipping. You can see the different guys with clipping on and clipping off. Select this vertex and hit Ctrl plus to increase your selection. From the side view push the shoulder back a bit just like so. It's time to move the vertices manually. It's not that complicated. You need to take your time to find the shoulder area. Alright, that looks great. We need to add more vertices on this area. To do that, hit K on the keyboard to activate the knife tool. Go ahead and make a cut just like so. When you are done, hit enter. Select this vertex and this one and hit J to connect them. And one more time, try to keep your work clean as possible. So, we're gonna make the same cut from the back. Ctrl 1 numpad to go to the back view. K to activate the knife tool. Make a cut just like so. Hit enter. Select this vertex. Hold shift, select this one and hit J to join them. The next step, guess what? Yes, you need to keep your work clean and take your time. That's it. Now we can create the arm. 3 on the keyboard to switch to face select. Hold shift, select this face and this one. 1 numpad to front view. E to extrude. S to scale. Just like that. Alright guys, now we need to transform this shape into circle. Why? Because the arm shape looks like a cylinder. Of course we can do that manually. Select this vertex and move it a bit just like so, select this one and this one. But this is really boring and I'm lazy too. That's why we need to activate an add-on. Select these vertices, go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons and search for Loop Tools. Turn on this add-on, click here 
and save your preference. Now when everything is selected, mouse right click, loop tools and choose circle. And bam, as you see guys, this is a perfect circle and that's what we are looking for. So hit X and delete the faces. By holding Alt, mouse left click, we can select this loop, one numpad to go to the front view and hit E to extrude. Don't forget the side view, this is really important. We need to check out the side view as well. Now we can follow the lines for the reference image. Ctrl R to add loop cuts right there. Ctrl R again and add loop cuts around there. As you see guys, I'm not doing anything crazy except moving the vertices and find the right shape. Enjoy the music and I will be back again. A to select everything. Click here and turn on statistic. As you see guys, we have important informations on the left side, like the vertices number, edges number, etc, etc. Do you see guys for the torso and the arms? This is a really good number of vertices. The next step, Ctrl R and add a loop cut right there. Ctrl R again and add a loop cut on the back just like so. By holding Shift, select these four vertices, F to fill them, Ctrl R and add three loop cuts right there. From the side view, push them down just like so. Select these vertices and push them down just like that. From the front view, select these vertices and push them along the X axis a bit, just like so. All right, this is an important point. We need to find the shape for the hips right now. Select this vertex and move it a bit, just like so. Select this one and this one, and please do the same thing that I'm doing. In the front view, Hold Alt, mouse left click to select this loop, E to extrude, hit SZ0 to line up the vertices just like that, scale them a bit, mouse right click, loop tools, circle. We need to uncheck clipping just like so, S to scale it a bit, Activate clipping again, and now we are ready to go. We need also to fix the rotation of the vertices. Hit RZ to rotate around the Z axis and to fix this issue. Control R and add a loop cut right there. 
go to back view and move these vertices just like so. We need to add another loop cut right there. Select this vertex and move it backward along the Y axis. You can also push it along the X axis just like so. Select this one and push it along the X axis. As you see guys, we have the important vertices to create the butt. Take your time to find the shape. And again, Ctrl R to add a loop cut right there and take your time to find the shape. All right, guys, that was all about today's video. In the next video, we are going to finish the character. Until then, stay motivated and I'm gonna catch you later.